Okay, to start off, we're going to take some uh, lead free wire, 030, and just a couple, three, four wraps right at the front. It's going to have a slender profile, so it doesn't need a ton of weight to get down. And I can leave a little bit there at the eye. And then I'm going to attach my mono. That's what I'm using for thread. I like to go back over the lead to secure it in there a little bit. So I'll slide around while I'm tying. This is a pretty easy fly. I'm going to start off by attaching some of this uh, pearl core braid. This is the micro uh, size. And that's going to kind of give more body, but also help to cover up the lead. So I'm going to do uh, some clumps here. Start off with the craft fur, just a small clump of the white. And you can vary this to be whatever you're trying to imitate. And with the high tie method, these are all going on top of the hook shank. So I'm going to lay that right on top of where I tied in the, the braid. And now what we do is we, because we have that pearl core braid up on top, underneath it, I can come up and wrap around. And that will actually give that body a little bit of a angle like that. Okay, now I'm going to tie back over my pearl core braid. Now one, you want one wrap of the pearl core braid right here. Otherwise you're going to get spaces in your in your minnow. Okay, and what I do here is I do another small clump of the craft fur. Again, tying that right on top of where I tied in the tied off the pearl core braid. Secure that with a couple of wraps. Then I keep a hold of this, bring up the pearl core braid in back. Okay, so there we've got the two pieces tied in. Okay, now I'm going to tie in a couple of pieces of black crystal flash. Well, more like three or four. And I just want to lay those along the kind of the sides of this. A couple on each side. Okay, now we've got those in there. Final piece, I'm going to take some ice wing fiber. This is a bait fish mix. And I'm going to pull out a clump of that. Now this stuff is a little bit different to handle, so I, I like to fold it in half, like so. Okay, and that's going to give me a good chunk. And I actually like to trim this. And I'm going to lay that down. Got to make sure you leave enough space at the eye. Okay, you got to hold up the ice wing fiber, bring the pearl core braid behind it. Then tie that off right in front. Tie it off. Okay, then we just clean up the tie off point here. Whip finish. And 
And if all goes well, we should have three sections tied in there. And then you can trim that to shape and to size, depending on what you need. Now the final step is to take some bait fish eyes, stick them on either side. Okay, you want to make sure that you've got your eye with enough room because we're going to put the clear cure goo onto this head and you want that eye to remain free of the material. Okay, so what I like to do here is grab my material and I have this little alligator clip. I'm just going to hold that back there. And this will keep the material nice and preened back so that I can put on my goo and that it'll uh, work down into the eyes there and keep the material out of the way. Okay, I'm using the thick. So I'm just going to build up a little head around the eyes and at the base of the material. Nice thing about the, the clear cure goo is that you can actually have plenty of time to work this. I like to get it into the fibers there, right behind the eyes so that everything's nice and even. But it gives you a lot of time, whereas regular epoxy, you're kind of at the mercy of the drying time. Okay, once I've got that set where I want it, I go ahead and zap it with the light. It cures instantly. And there we go. You can trim that as you need to. I take some thinning shears sometimes, these guys, to give it a little bit more tapered shape. But that's good.